I really don't like repeating myself. For one thing, I actually do work quite hard on each of these videos, and it would feel like a giant waste of time if I inadvertently just said everything all over again. Plus, I really do hate catchphrases, and I don't think I can muster up any more self-hatred. So I really do one day want to watch a program on E4 that doesn't make me want to goz up an organ and throw it at my TV screen. So I started putting a few eggs in the basket of Crazy Head. The trailer gave me a little bit of a disease, but that's par for the course with E4. Unfortunately, when I found out Crazy Head followed some of the themes of Shadow Hunters, the demons, the perceptive protagonist, the questionable acting, the interesting dialogue, and the title made from two words that now wish they could kill themselves. I realised that the eggs were hand grenades and the basket was stapled to my hand. Honestly, there were so many obvious similarities between Crazy Head and Shadow Hunters that I could very easily recommend this as the greatest work of parody. Unfortunately, thinking that E4 operates on a number of self-aware levels is like thinking that a fish tank is a perfect place to keep your newborn baby. And if you have to take this show at face value, everyone loses. One difference I did notice between Smeggy Head and Shadow Hunters is the former identifies itself as a horror comedy. We'll get to the comedy in a minute, but first I have to mention horror. Horror is built from tension. The more tension, the more horror, generally speaking. The cheapest form of horror is a jump scare, and the cheapest form of jump scare is the quiet, 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 loud noise approach. I'm just mentioning this for no reason. Not like I realised that every supposed tense scene was lit up like a protesting monk by a show that understands horror about as well as Donald Trump understands women. Do you know what else helps with any genre? Empathy. Make us empathetic towards your characters. At the end of the first episode, a woman dies, and our main character, this woman's supposed best friend, walks around looking like someone who's just been told the forecast for tomorrow is looking like light rain. Honestly, I've seen people more upset about losing an envelope. She's initially set up to be this interesting character with actual characteristics, but after about five minutes, you find out she's got less personality than a tablespoon with a frowny face drawn on it. By contrast, the secondary character is an explosion of personality, in that she can be described with three adjectives. I think this is another case of main character syndrome, a term I've heard somewhere before said in a sexy British accent that sounded tall and handsome and always correct. Now onto the comedy, and quite frankly one of the two reasons I would say we get a little crazy head is better than run with the shadow hunted. I never laughed during the show, I actually shouted fuck off at the screen a few times but that's normal for everyone isn't it? But I did acknowledge that some of the jokes were fine. And the other point to Crazy Head comes in the dialogue. I've made my feelings about Shadowhunter's dialogue quite clear. And if not, just to remind you, it's about as realistic as sending a small boy alone into the Vatican and having him return with a big smile on his face and nothing to tell a future psychiatrist. By comparison, Crazy Head, although the dialogue was irritating beyond belief, it was stuff I've heard people say to each other. Fucking young people who are older than me. Fuck off. Crazy Head is another E4 thing. There's probably a really good medical reason why you shouldn't watch it as well. Oh, and for those of you who were upset by the online shift of BBC3, look, see, other channels will still make youth programmes that are awful.